are you going to adopt all of those unwanted babies? I mean, abortion choice advocates will claim that if you aren't willing to adopt the unwanted babies in the world, then a woman is justified in having an abortion. Uh, you guys know Donald Miller? He's like an emergent church leader. He authored Blue Like Jazz. Um, but this, uh, this guy, Donald Miller, he had an article on his blog. Uh, this was in April 22nd of uh, this year. He said, and he was, his, his, the title of his article was, Does the Pro-Life Movement Need a New Strategy? You know, this guy's loved to beat up on fellow Christians and pro-lifers and that sort of thing. He says, if, ab uh, if abortion were to be made illegal— which it likely never will be, so he's an optimist. Uh, Pro-life supporters must be prepared to care for an enormous amount of unwanted children. Okay, that's the argument. So how do we respond? There's Scott Klusendorf to the rescue. He says, we immediately need to ask, how does my alleged unwillingness to adopt a child justify an abortionist killing one? Okay, notice again, this assumes that the unborn is not human like a toddler. Imagine if I said that unless you adopt my two girls, Juliana and Jocelyn, I'm going to kill them. Unless you adopt them, I'm going to kill them. Don't they look unwanted? No. <laughs> She's having too much fun there. No one would accept that. You know, imagine I said, uh, unless you're going to marry my wife, then I can, I can beat her. You know, that sort of thing. That would, that would make no sense. Uh, at all. That, they're assuming that the unborn is not human like a toddler. Second, the argument again is an ad hominem attack. Instead of dealing with our science, our philosophy, our theology, they simply ignore it and they change the subject, okay? And so uh, third, there are many, 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 many people who are willing to adopt unwanted children. And this rarely gets talked about. Some researchers suggest that there are up to 36 couples, and that's 36 couples up there, waiting to adopt one baby. In fact, I was at Huron uh, a few weeks ago, and I was talking with an old teacher that I had when I went there, and uh, he actually adopted two children from Russia. Uh, Russia or Siberia? Anyways, he, and he said that he's been waiting years to get these children. He's paid over $100,000. That's how badly he wants children. And uh, because there are no babies in North America, we've killed them all. Okay? And so it's, uh, it's, it's very sad. And those are the figures. So if someone says, are you going to adopt them? I mean, sure. But the reality is I don't need to. Just because if I said I won't adopt them, that doesn't mean that they're not valuable human beings that should be protected, okay?